here with me a patient of mine. We had done anterior maxillary distraction for her on the 18th of December. So what is anterior maxillary distraction? Anterior maxillary distraction is a procedure by which we split the upper jaw into two and we stretch it forward, we pull it forward and by doing that we are able to get new bone in the upper jaw. So the common problem of underbite can be corrected. It's very useful for patients who are born with cleft lip and palate, but it's also useful for anyone who has a jaw discrepancy. This is far superior than the conventional orthognathic surgery because we're not using any plates or screws. This is stimulating the body, the patient's body, to deposit new bone in the precise location that we wanted to. So this is how she came to us. She had had a few surgeries before she came here. You see her upper jaw, how it's retro kind of behind. That's a side view and you can see there also another view, this one. So we are planning to get the upper jaw forward by about 12 millimeters. Now this is what we have done for her. If you see carefully, we've got the uh, upper jaw forward and I've got it distracted inside the mouth. So the distraction is something like this. So the patient comes in, we take the impression of the upper jaw, a custom made distractor like this is made. Once this is fabricated, this is seated into the patient's mouth and then the surgery is done. After a few days, four or five days, this screw which has a turn here has to be turned around and the entire part of the middle face comes forward. So the osteotomy cut for her is going to be like from here to there and so this segment moves forward. So what we could achieve is bone between the maxilla, between the premolars and the molars and by doing that the nose comes forward and this, this is a little exaggerated situation now. Once we go in and remove the appliance, then the maxilla will settle down. Now, what are the advantages for this procedure? The main advantage is, since there is bone deposition on either side of the maxilla, the speech of the patient improves. It never worsens. We have a large series of patients like this, a few hundreds, I think 400 ought to be precise, and we also have published a lot of these results in international PubMed review journals. And what we found is the speech improves, it never worsens. The other advantage is since it's newborn deposition, there's no chance of a relapse. Relapse is a situation wherein when you bring the upper jaw forward and if you fix it with plates and screws, it tends to go back after a few months. That doesn't happen in this. And lastly, since it brings the teeth and the nose and everything and corrects the balance between the upper and the lower jaw, I think this is a procedure for lifetime. Anterior maxillary distraction is kind of a new procedure. The first procedure I think was done in 2006 or thereabouts. We've been doing a lot in the last decade and a half and many patients with various problems in the jaws can be fixed with this kind of an issue without taking bone from any other parts of the body by stimulating the patient's own body to deposit new bone. Thank you.